Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Born near Belfast, Ireland in 1794, Frederick Stanton immigrated to the United States in 1815 and prospered as a planter and cotton broker. In 1857, he and his wife Hulda enlisted the aid of Natchez builder Thomas Rose in creating one of the city's grandest antebellum mansions. Originally christened Belfast by the Stantons, the house, known today as Stanton Hall, combines elements of Greek revival and Italianate architecture, incorporating soaring Corinthian columns, delicate cast iron balconies and balustrades, and a belvedere that offers sweeping views of the Mississippi River. When finally completed and furnished, the grand house contained magnificently ornate interiors, reflecting the height of interior design in 19th century America. Sadly, Frederick Stanton died on January 4, 1858, shortly after the house was completed. The family remained in the house until selling it after Hulda Stanton's death in 1893. The house then went through a succession of owners, including a stint as the home to the Stanton College for Young Ladies. In 1938, the Pilgrimage Garden Club purchased the mansion and committed to maintaining and refurbishing the once magnificent home. Today, Frederick Stanton's Grand House is one of our city's most popular attractions. I am Ethel Truly, a great-great-great-granddaughter of Frederick and Hulda Stanton, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.